It is World Emoji Day, a perfect time to send a heart, a thumbs up, or any of the 3,600 other emojis out there to a loved one. This as emoji use is on the rise. Ten years ago, just 4% of tweets contained at least one emoji. Today, that number is up to 27%. With more, I'm joined by one of the world's pre preeminent emoji expert, Jonathan Reich, CEO of Zedge, which owns Emojipedia. I uh, bet you didn't know that is a thing, Emojipedia, or maybe you did. Uh, Jonathan, uh, I am of the type that I love emojis. I love to use emojis when I text. Uh, there are plenty of people I know that don't use them at all. So what does that say about emoji users versus non-emoji users? Great question. So in today's world, over 90% of people that have a digital presence consume and interact with, emo with emojis on a regular basis. Uh, as you know, a picture tells a thousand words, and uh, that's what emojis are, with nuance, with flavor, with uh, diversity and the like. So uh, the ones that aren't using them, uh, they will be using them in the not too distant future. I'm confident about that. They're just going to, uh, you know, jump jump on board on the bandwagon, I suppose. Uh, let's talk about ten, 10 years of smiley faces. Uh, face with tears of joy is an all-time favorite. But there was a brief period in 2021 where the loudly crying face, the one with just the tears that are coming down, took the top spot. What does this say about us? Well, I think that overall it's all smiley face. And then uh, 21 goes back to the time of COVID. Uh, there were a lot of changes going on in the world, and uh, it was more expressive in terms of getting that point across. Uh, but as you see from that little diagram that you have on the screen, that smiley face stays at the top, and I think that really tells the story of who we are as human beings. We want to be happy. We want to associate with happiness, spread that happiness and joy, and see to it that everyone is able to think along those lines. My favorite, oh. by the way, is the uh, the heart eyes, and I think that place number fourth overall, the heart eyes. I love That's those. correct. Uh, all right, um, food. Let's talk about food. Um, there are a lot of, as we know, food emojis that don't necessarily have anything to do with food, or that's how they're used. I'll just leave it at that. Or maybe let me ask you about that. <laughs> what, what do you make of that, in that when emojis aren't used for what they really are? Yeah, I think that it's the same thing in language. You know. Emojis are just a, a, a visual language, and we have certain words that uh, have a precise definition, uh, but then there is a street use of those words, no different than what we see in the world of emojis. So uh, it's, it's global. I think that that is the one difference, uh, unlike languages where it's geographical, if you will. You speak English in English-speaking countries, Spanish in Spanish-speaking countries, but emojis doesn't matter whether you're in North America, South America, Europe, Africa, whatever the case may be, they have great connotation, uh, which really allows for people to bridge divides that otherwise would exist if we were dependent on native languages. I was surprised to learn today in researching for this interview that the uh, the strawberry was the top spot. And I think it's, it's, it's a flirting t to tell somebody you're good looking or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. I learned that new today. Uh, Jonathan, uh, but I do have a bone to pick. I l like to drink white wine. I think our, our regular uh, viewers know this about me. I, I prefer white over red. Why is there no white wine emoji? Candidly, I can't answer that. The emoji uh, standards committee is called uh, the Unicode committee, and they are the ones that ultimately decide what is or is not accepted as an emoji. Um, what I, uh, what I can imagine, though, is that just as now we have the ability to pick skin tones with emojis, maybe we'll have that ability so that you can have your white wine <laughs> emoji. And uh, we will reach out to them, uh, you know, later this week and see if we can, uh, yeah. you know, influence them in order to achieve that goal. Well, we're showing the viewers there's actually a petition created by Kendall Jackson uh, Winery, of course, to get a white wine emoji. That's been underway for years. So, yes, please, Jonathan, help us out. This is big, important stuff. Uh, lastly, uh, talking just about emojis, um, how they change society, uh, but when supporting them and supporting you, you do some philanthropic work as well. Sure. So we are celebrating the 10 year anniversary of World Emoji Day, and we decided to partner with Conscience Alliance, Conscious Alliance, 
uh, in order to really celebrate by helping those that are less fortunate than us. It gives us an opportunity to give back. Uh, we have benefited from this business and we really would like other people to reap the benefits that we have been able to succeed with uh, and make their lives better. So that's what it's all about. Conscious Alliance has also associated itself with the blue heart emoji. So it was really the perfect fit for associating ourselves with a charitable cause mm. uh, that has a foundation associated with the world of emojis. I love the idea of paying it forward. All right, I'm sending you a heart emoji for your time tonight. Oh, Jonathan, thank you right? so much. And heart eyes. Thank you so much.